precious friend. I'm Pastor Danny Davis. Now, don't go anywhere. I only want about three minutes of your time. I want to talk to you about a very, very important subject in your life. For just a few moments. I want to talk to you about when the brook dries up in your life. Every so often in every person's life, there comes a time when what was working before quits working. It can come from a lot of things. It can come from a divorce. Uh, it can happen because you lose a job. You might have somebody sue you. Uh, you may just find yourself going broke. Every so often, the brook dries up in every one of our lives. And, and when the brook dries up, that is when you have to find your new assignment. Now, we're given a passage of scripture in 1 Kings chapter 17, where the Bible tells us Elijah, the prophet Elijah, was sent down to abide by a brook. He was, God told him uh, he was in a bunch of trouble the king was trying to kill him because he didn't like things that he had prophesied. And God said, go stay by the brook of Cherith. And the Lord told him to so drink out of that brook. And twice a day, blackbirds are going to fly overhead and drop filet mignon steaks in your lap. A very, very fascinating story in the Bible. And for a, quite a while, Elijah lived by that brook. And twice a day, he ate filet mignons and bread that, that blackbirds dropped in his lap and he drank out of the brook. But we find an interesting verse of scripture in 1 Kings chapter 17. In verse 7 of 1 Kings chapter 17, the Bible says the, dr the brook dried up because there had been no rain. Now I want to make something very clear to you, if you can kind of catch this in the spirit. The brook didn't dry up because the devil dried it up, and the brook didn't dry up because God dried it up. Any more than God or the devil may have had something to do with the change in your life. Maybe one or the other did, but there's a good chance circumstances changed in your life. If you're married to somebody and you have to divorce that person because they start cheating on you, you have no power over that. They made a decision. In every one of our lives, there comes a time when the brook dries up. The Bible says that for Elijah, the brook dried up because he had prophesied a drought in the land. He had prophesied there wasn't going to be any more rain. The brook dried up because there had been no rain. What I want to talk to you about is when that happened, at that moment in Elijah's life, he went to the brook, there's no water to drink. He looked toward the sky, there's no blackbird dropping a filet mignon steak in his lap anymore. Why? Because his circumstances had changed. And at that point, the Bible tells us the word of the Lord had to come to Elijah again. His assignment had to change. Where are you at in your life right now? What used to work, is it no longer working? What you used to rely on, can you no longer rely on it? Has the brook dried up in your life? Well, I've got good news for you. It's time for a new assignment in your life. It's time for a new beginning in your life. At this moment in Elijah's life, God told him, he said, okay, I have a change in plans for you now. The brook is dried up. Now I want you to go to Zarephath. I've prepared somebody there to meet every need you have in your life, a widow woman in Zarephath. Every so often in our life, the brook dries up. We have to make a change. We have a new assignment that we have to move into. There are three things you need to do when God is bringing you into a new beginning in your life. First of all, you've got to figure out what your new assignment is, what your, your uh, new beginning is. Second of all, you've got to believe God for a new assignment that you have a passion for. If you lose a job, you don't want another job that you hate. You want a job that you look forward every morning to getting up and going to work and doing. You've got to believe God for a new assignment that you have a passion for. And thirdly, you've got to pursue your new beginning. That's your job. That's not God's job. That's your job. Well, I want to give you a success key as I wrap this little faith word up today, this little word of encouragement. First of all, find God's new beginning for your life. If, if what is what's happening before isn't working anymore, find God's new beginning for your life and obediently set out on your journey. God's got a new assignment and God's got a new beginning for you. I'm Pastor Danny Davis and I hope this little wisdom word has helped you.